The interface for Rhino is quite simple and I will explain the different parts of the interface. Let's start up here with a menu bar where I have pull down menus for all the different commands. Below this we have the main window that's also separated in a few more windows. Up here we have some options. We have grid snap, ortho, planar, smart track, gumball, history. Right now I have grid snap, smart track and gumball activated. When something's not activated, it do, it's not shaded. Next here on the left, we have the toolbox. First, we have the command box. Rhino is a command based program, so I can actually type in a command. So let's say I want to draw a box. I can type in box and enter and it will give me options for the box. Or I can choose box from this menu here. So by clicking on an icon, you'll see that now I'm also creating a box. Each one of these icons, when it has a arrow on the right, I can open that up and you can see there are more options here in the dropdown. Below that, we have the object snaps or O snaps. This will allow you to model more accurately. Then we have the viewports here. I can activate it by just clicking in the viewport. And so each viewport will give you a different view of your model. Let's say, for example, I have a cylinder. You'll see that this is the top view of the cylinder. This is the front view of the cylinder, the right view and perspective. I can select the viewport by clicking inside the viewport. I can maximize the view by clicking on the words up here, perspective, top, front or right. If I want to see all four viewports again, I click on this little icon here. Lastly, we have this sidebar here, which by the way, I can show and hide with this icon here. And similarly on the left, if I need a little bit more space to work in. So this sidebar has two areas. The top part is the inspector panel. And you can see I have some layers here. I have a default layer. This one I renamed box. And so to rename, I just double click and I can type in here, press enter. And now my layer has a new name. I can add more layers just by clicking down here. Below that, I have the properties. Right now I'm seeing the properties for viewport, but if I select a different object, it'll say, this is the properties for the object that I have selected, which is a box. And you can see this object is on layer four. Its display color is green. And there are a couple other things I can change about this layer. This is also where we'll be applying materials and working with texture mapping later on in this course.